Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be filming a little like video edition to go along with the coffee recipe video which I will link for you in the description bar below. It was the Trimachino recipe from Trim Healthy Mama, my adaptation on that. And today I'm going to adapt it again to kind of be more for a summertime drink. I personally do not really care for hot coffee in the summertime. So this is my cold version. Um, it's not really iced, but it is still blended and it is delicious. So uh, check it out. Alright, so the first thing we're going to start with is a shot of espresso. I did sell my Keurig and bought this espresso maker on Amazon. I'll put the link for that below if you're interested. This works a lot better than the Keurig did. Um, I felt like the Keurig was just getting to the point where I basically had coffee flavored water. So um, we're just going to turn the dial on here and get us a shot of espresso. While we wait for that, I'll go ahead and show you the type of espresso I use. Um, I use this. I get this from Vitacost, and I'll also put a link for that below. There will be tons of links below. Please check out the description bar. I love that coffee, though. I tried out this one. This one, not, not a big fan of. It's easier to find, but um, to me, it's got, I don't know, more of a burnt taste. And uh, I don't really care for that. So that's about it. I'm making this in the same little blender cup that, I, that you saw in my last video. And... Um, so I'm just going to pour all of the ingredients in there. Don't you love my little espresso cup? We're going to pour our coffee right in there. And um, in there, which I didn't show you this, but I'd already put one teaspoon of the MCT oil. Uh, this is just for, uh, basically this helps you with energy. Um, a teaspoon of it is not enough fat to turn this into an S. Um, if you make this recipe without butter, it will still be a fuel pull, even though I'm going to put a little bit of almond and coconut milk in it. We're also going to put um, a scoop of whey protein powder in it. You could just use a teaspoon. I'm going to use an entire scoop because this is serving as my afternoon snack. Um, so that's most of a scoop, actually. So we're just going to pour that in there. This will be sweetened with stevia. This is the brand that I use. I am aware that this contains... Um, maltodextrin which is not technically on plan but this is my favorite stevia and I've still managed to lose 34 pounds while on the program using this so I'm just gonna keep using it um, I only do like one little shake of that and then we're gonna come over to my refrigerator and I'm gonna show you how much I use crushed ice really know the measurement of how much ice I use. It just comes about halfway up the glass. Then I'm going to add some water, just a little bit. I'd probably say maybe a quarter of a cup. And then I'm going to feel And then I'm going to fill the rest of the way up to where it says max fill with unsweetened coconut almond milk. You could add more water if you want to, um, but this is what I use. It just, to me, gives it a, a creamier flavor. Um, it's it's really nice taste to it. And um, I don't even use half a cup. And as you can see here, a full cup has three and a half grams of fat and one carb. So um, this doesn't mess you up and take you into um, S or E territory. So as it stands here, as far as I'm aware, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, this should still be a fuel pool. Now, at this point, you could add an extract. I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla. Um, I used to add peppermint and cocoa to this to kind of make like a peppermint mocha sort of thing, but I've really been enjoying lately having just the plain coffee flavor. So now we're going to put the lid on this and blend it. So I've put the blades onto the top of my mixer cup. Try this recipe out and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see me do, because I'm really struggling to come up with the ideas, but I've gotten more and more subscribers over the past couple of weeks, and I, know, I, I want to do more videos. But um, as you can hear, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I have three small kids, so it's not easy to have a quiet house and my hair perfectly done and 
you know, the whole nine yards that you feel like you should have if you're going to film a YouTube video, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to go relax with my coffee, and um, I hope you'll do the same, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.